Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Sonic Ravi, and I'm doing a web series called Sonic Lego Central. Now, in my last video, I talked about my race stinger. Get it right now. Okay, and it magically disappeared. La, la, la. Okay, but in this episode, I'm going to talk to you about my all-terrain vehicle. Now, okay, let's move it. Okay, it is all terrain because, well, this thing actually kind of helps it. This helps it. It helps it when it moves. Go in and now up. And I'll show you what happens if you may if you have to go up. Just go. Right, here we go! Here we go, yo! Okay. So what happens when it's going down? You gotta see? When it's going down, it basically lets all... Hmm. I think I'll show it on my desk. Because it will work way better. Actually, I'll show it to you. Okay, so. Just watch. Should be a moment. Okay, so what happens? Time will show. So what happens is when it crawls down, it lets all of this chain go down first. Like goes down. No chain gravity does a thing. And then pulls like this. But on the ground, what happens on the ground what happens is that it kinda lays out. So when it falls it kind of like a landing gear and poof, safely lands. And uh, it can move. And see? It can move like this. Well, it's kind of like a tra looks like a track, right? Well, I'll tell you why. It can do it without moving the actual thing. No. It, these things that look like, yeah, they're gears. Um, they help it move like this. And, like, first, my design was to make an all terrain vehicle, but it didn't really work out. So, when I retried it, I was like, wait a minute, wheels. So, I decided to use wheels on the actual passenger thing. So, up, down, up, down, without moving the actual thing. Because these just follow with it. Because there's, um, because the Lego piece that's connecting these two together... They're also holding these two together. And they can really go almost over anything, depending on what it is. Okay, so let's um, try my lightsaber. Let's try to travel right now. My mom got it for me on this little. Last time I was about just fiddle around with it. <laughs> okay, so what you do. Is you do this? Gotta jump over it, and then fall down. It can basically go on thing. It can even go up, or it can do this. What? It's crazy jump. Or it can like this. It can like the. It can be like the like the track go there. Like you can actually kind of like spin it out or something. So, um, when you do it, it kind of like does this. They can do that. Whoa! Other way. So, now you see why I call it an all terrain vehicle. But, 
I want to talk to you about its weapons now and how it's passenger shit. So, let's get around. Okay. Choo choo. Yeah, it's kind of like a thing. Okay. So, first, it has these missiles. But these are kind of like they have these fin type things. Then they have the same thing as the motorcycle. These two blasters right here. Pew, 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 pew. It's not really stable. Well, so these are kind of it. They're basically these two. I don't even know what they are. I just don't even know what this is. I don't even know what it is. I just caught from a figure jigs or something. Whatever. So, um, and it's this part. This is how we get up. The passenger is this ninja. I got it actually from a Ninja Jago Lego set. Um, it used to be a thing. It worked out, but it kind of got broken. So um, I just decided to change it up because, like, it's like one of those things where it's one. It can be one vehicle, but it can split up into two vehicles. So it was like one of those, but. It's other um half I guess you can call it. Um I changed designs so we can't really connect to it anymore. So I was trying to make a hovercraft but it kind of changed so all the parts are different. Like different parts are different are in different places. So now you know why I call it my ultrain vehicle. I hope you like my vehicle. I mean my episode. Um hope you check out my other videos. And see ya. And see you later.